I'll be honest, Utah needs to get Orlando Amana back. ASAP. People want to know why the run was falling apart here in the very first quarter. You're going to get really good pressure here. This is supposed to be a double team. Center and guard double teaming this man until he is moved. You got to get two yards. This guy has to get moved. I do think that Idaho State did a really good job right here. I, I think that he's got keys and reads. I think he's either reading the guard or he's reading the tackle. When they disappear in a shotgun wing, then he comes flying in knowing that that's going to be a given run. And that's essentially what happens right here. So this nose tackle defeats the double team. Look, he's already into, he's already into this center. He's already got him turned. And that double team is non-effective. And now he's held him right at the line of scrimmage. That's key number one to this. That's issue number one to this. Issue number two is watch this linebacker read his keys and react and come right downhill and into this run play. So now you've got a nose tackle who should have been double teamed and now your double team is leaving early. You can't leave until this man is off the line of scrimmage. And you've got a guy that read his keys and came in here and they're in the backfield. There, there's not much Moss can do, man. That's just that's just swarming and good reads and good keys, and that's that's a victory right there by that nose tackle, that defensive tackle. Can't have that. That double team's got to get that guy out of there. This is so annoying to me. You know, you got two monster Utah offensive linemen that are getting beat by an Idaho State D tackle. That can't happen against USC. So you're missing your center. And that, that was uh, very apparent in the first few plays of this uh, opening series.